Here's the thing about butter. I love it. I love that's butter. <laughs> that's the whole thing. Well, they say he's not coming back and nothing can fill the void, but at least we can try with food. I'll make some apple pie. Come on in. It's Dead Dad's Kitchen. Kitchen fans, what's up, Daddy? Group? Well, we've been, somebody said we should be, they should be called the Daddies. Ooh, I like it, Daddies. It's great. That's yes. what it is. Yes. Thanks, guys. So you guys might know this voice. How many podcasts do you actually have? Because the joke is that he has like thirty. I have three that I am uh, the host of, and then I guest. I guest on a lot of people's podcasts. Yes. Is that because you have them guest on yours, so it's like reciprocal? I kind of enjoy going on other people's podcasts. Like, I uh, there's a part of me that likes to go to other people's apartments and do weird <laughs> shit. Case in point. <laughs> do you want to come on and cook? And uh, Where do we film? At my house. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's check it out. Perfect. Nosy Person, I'd love to find I out. Can't wait. John, do you prefer John or Gabrus? Whatever you prefer about Gabrus, really. So you have a preference, is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. So, I don't like. I am, I'm not gonna. If you say John, I'm not gonna be mad or like not answer. I'm okay. Like, Who's she talking to? <laughs> so Gabrus also has a dead dad, which is bad for him, but great for the show. He was alive, but when I want, I told him I want to be on the show, so <laughs> I put a pillow over his head and <laughs> took him out. <laughs> Finally, now I'm here. And I was like, hey, just so you know, the requirement isn't to have a dead dad. <laughs> He was like, damn it, okay. <laughs> you could have said that in the first email. Just let, mean, don't let my mom hear that. <laughs> so we're actually going to be making one of his dad's recipes, which as I'm sure That's you've already seen quote. in the title, it's called Daddy Surprises. <laughs> it has a Daddy Surprise <laughs> has, a, has not aged well. I'd like to thank people for uh, bastardizing me and the kink community. Daddy Surprises, okay, for sure. So. I only know that these are kind of like a breakfast sandwich. I need to know like how this came to be called what it is. Okay, so a uh, couple of factors. The East Coast is very big on breakfast sandwiches, like bacon, egg, and cheese, Great. sausage, egg, and cheese, ham, egg, and cheese. At any deli, you can get it, that and a coffee for like two to three dollars. <laughs> It's the one thing I miss about now living in LA is that there's no place to get. Now it's like more like five dollars. You can get a bacon, egg, and cheese and a hot coffee, sure. and that fucking <laughs> rolls. That's like a great way to start the day. So that's huge on the East Coast. But my family was kind of like poorer and cheaper growing up. And another thing was my dad worked nights, so he was gone. Like from honestly, the thing that saved my relationship with my father is that he, never he was home while I was in school, and when I but before I came home from school, he had left for work until after I'd gone to sleep. Oh my so god! So we only like saw each other like once every like sure. week or two, and then he would try to jam being a dad into that day. And it That's was, cute. No, no. <laughs> so yeah, I'm home and I just make sure I f boss my son around so he, <laughs> he develops nicely or whatever. <laughs> Out. Look at me now. <laughs> He's on a Minist show in a stranger's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and so he would make these when you guys were. Uh, so Saturday and Sunday mornings when we would be home, he would be working later that day, or we'd be going to the beach. He would set up like what he called daddy surprises, and the surprise element was the, the surprise element is this: the bologna. Currently, that was a classic. It was whatever meat we had okay. in the house. Ham, bologna. Never had bacon really growing up. Frozen Jimmy Dean sausages. That was the highlight for me with sausage links. But the most yeah. classic. Oh, you would use links on the, a sandwich? The little tiny like uh, links. Yeah, put, for sure. Put three across like Lincoln logs. Yes. Brilliant. But fried bologna was like a big one. And that's sure. what Bologna, egg, and cheese in the morning. Melted yellow American. Maybe Here's a little butter. SPK. And you're fing living the dream. Here's the thing about American cheese. Is it good? No. Is it cheese? Absolutely not. But I love it more than I love most things. I love American cheese. It's, I, it's like when you were telling me about this recipe, it was very like She's my. <laughs> <laughs> it was very like my dad to me also, and I feel like this is for sure, if not something he actually made, something he would have made, which I'm very excited about. Well, your dad's from the East Coast as well, yes. right? Yes. Breakfast Sammy's. So he's very, there. very familiar. But bologna is the thing we usually just like. We would have like white bread bologna and mustard sandwiches. Oh yeah, we would do bologna cheese mayo on uh, white bread. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Always. For sure. So that's why I got like. Not the white, the bread, white bread. bread. Yeah, the white <laughs> bread makes sense too because that's like it's only we're not buying special rolls. No, so I'm not buying you special rolls so you can have it with breakfast. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm not going out to the store and spending money on rolls for you. <laughs> you know that would be like. A, not that I don't. Speaking love of it. daddy surprise, <laughs> I keep going to drink. We're okay. gonna okay. 
so we're gonna make these question. Good question. Is there a condiment element? Is there like there could mustard? be there, ketchup's an option. Ketchup's an option, is it? If you have it. Is it an option? Ooh. You do. All right. Oh hell yeah. No one knows how old that is. <laughs> not even. <laughs> I'm not gonna look. Now that I hit the bottom a few times, it's <laughs> brand new. It's full also. So is the bread toasted? It can be. That's an option. I never really liked it. Which was this ever? Everything's an option. Well, it, was it ever created? Was it the thing that you made? No, no, no. We just talked about it. <laughs> You're gonna My dad died you. before I was born. <laughs> he died when he yeah. f***ing you know? <laughs> I have two younger brothers. I don't know how we did that part. That's incredible. That's divine conception, my friend. What we'll do is we'll get this oven preheating just to toast our bread if we so choose. Then we're gonna get, so we need, oh, how are they? Okay, a lot of questions. <laughs> I've <I'm> noticed. <laughs> okay, no, I sound like an astronomy professor. <laughs> what professor's like, hey students, stop asking questions. You've you never had me in your class. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, right. a, I'm a big question asker and I think that that's the, like, the best way to be. Uh, because it's the way I am, so it's great. I think it's pretty much a very important personality <laughs> trait because I have it as a personality trait. <laughs> to me, I think one of the best ways you could be is like 300 pounds and bearded. Oh. oh my god, oh. I feel like a debutante. <laughs> I'm getting the vapors. Oh, noticing. Okay, how are the eggs prepared? Scramble over medium, what's up? The two options we had were scrambled or sunny side. Oh, okay, cute. Yeah, Which yeah. did you prefer? I preferred sunny side because I like the drip. Okay. It came through dripping. Yeah. I like the yolk drip. Get out. Yeah, I, yeah, fair enough. I'd like nothing more than the leaf. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not kidding. <laughs> I mean, I'm here, right? Perfect. We're gonna grab two of those. I'm gonna mix your sunny side idea and we'll do over medium. Okay, perfect. Because I don't want to do it your way. Yeah, no, <laughs> your dad. Hey, I'm gonna, that's one thing we can agree on. What was his name? John. It's actually a weird story. My mom didn't like the name John, so they named me Jonathan. <laughs> Knowing like it's the 80s and 90s, kids are just gonna call you John. It's like, it's like no, it's wow. David, Daniel, Jonathan, Michael. No, it's. Dan, Dave, John, Chris, Mike. That's how I ended up being called Gabrus, honestly, is that there was four Jonathans in my junior high. Because it was like a very popular name in 82 when we were all born. Do you know how happy I am that this came up naturally? Because I've been meaning to ask you that for years. <laughs> You've been meaning to ask me? Uh, yes! Why? I was like, not that it's not a great last name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that I wasn't, and now you've got me in my head. I'm wondering if it is a bad message. It's okay. Excuse me. It's great. I always wanted people to call me Walton because it's like it's so cool when people call each other by their last name, and nobody ever did. Yeah, well, you're probably one of a few Irene's, right? There's not. I, yeah. yeah. I, anytime I meet somebody, they're like, "Oh my god, that's my grandma's name." I was about to say, unless you were born in like the '30s in like, <laughs> Warsaw, there's no one named Irene anymore. <laughs> Can I just interject with a fun fact? Yes. I googled you for some reason, and I went on like that weird like famous people like site and you're on it and you're the 25th most famous Irene. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you so much, cool. Gabriel. I'm so proud of you. You're the first most famous Gabriel. <laughs> For sure. I got two pans. I have one bigger one and one small one. Oh, I love these paper plates. Here's God, my... I haven't had bologna in a long time. Okay, here's my favorite part about bologna is it's like a hot dog. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like you can't normally have that. This is a little appetizer. <laughs> Mmm, this is the first thing I'm eating today. No, it tastes like bologna. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. Because bologna, I have a question. Uh -huh. <laughs> no <laughs> when your dad made the bologna, did he just throw it on the skillet or did he do something to it first? Uh, I think it was just on the skillet. Would it curl upwards? Yeah, it would like become like an ashtray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sad. I had a bunch of bologna on the ride over. Hey, lock it up, Irene. We gotta show this you. Great. Now that's at 400. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. Crying in a mouthful of bologna. Die. Wow, it was such a bad idea to have you on. I don't think I've laughed this hard in months. It was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. If you put bologna right on a skillet, <clears throat> it's gonna do this thing where it like curls up. It looks like a little, but the thing you like push down and then it flips up. Uh huh. That's much better than that it. toy. <laughs> to not do that, Ooh. what we're gonna do, 
Brad Leone taught me this. So you have your bologna and you're just gonna do little like one inch cuts right here. So you're gonna do four, so it's gonna uh, fry up nice and flat as opposed to curling up. There's nothing wrong with it curling up. Oh but my god, this now this is all worth it now. What? Uh, having learned that. Right? Hey, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so here's what I, okay. This is gonna be your recipe and I think I'm gonna do it. No, I think, I think you should. Maybe, oh, I don't know oh. how your show works, so you tell me. Let's do, oh, so you haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, no, I watch it all the time. I'm a 38 year old man who loves YouTube. Okay, let's have you make one and I'll make one. Okay, now we're competing. Of course. <laughs> okay, it's on. Uh, it's uh, on, I mean. No, call me a <laughs> Makes me feel like daddy's here. <laughs> So we each have two slices of cheese. What I'm gonna do, in what I think that this recipe should have, is I'm gonna take two slices of bread and I'm gonna start to pre-toast it. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Okay, so you're copying me is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, yeah, I'm copying you in a food competition where we decide to toast the Kroger's <laughs> white bread. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to be a host of food YouTube show to know this bread's gonna be a better a little toasted. <laughs> So we'll just put it right on the rack because it's bread, so it's fine. <laughs> That's the reason. So this is getting hot. We'll have it like medium high. We're gonna take our slices of bologna. Yeah. So we have our little cuts in it, and then we're gonna plop that in there. <laughs> How many eggs do you like? Am I gonna do a deli scramble like or a real scramble? That's the question. What's the difference? Like a deli scramble is like when they just crack the egg, break the yolk, and like move it around in the pan. Sure. But like, or the, are we gonna do full scramble with like a bowl with some uh, little bit of milk or water? And so <laughs> okay, fancy. What do you wanna do? I'm gonna scramble this shit in a bowl. Okay, my man. Oh, perf. There you go. Perf. Here's two eggs. How do you crack your eggs? Uh, on the countertop like this? Yeah. Oh, well, we use two hands. Oh, you can do it with one hand. Yeah. That's like the dream. That's the dream. That's Shout out to one of my best friends, JP, who used to work at a deli. And when we would make breakfast together, I'd be like, you gotta do the eggs. Because you would be like, you'd be able to Dude, fire. yeah, it's because of, uh, yeah, you you're garbage? starting there right. with the bologna that I didn't eat. Oh, you didn't have to eat it? Why did I choke it? No, up? I did eat it. That was just the remainder. Oh, yeah, but I finished mine. I'm a good boy. Like a good boy. Do you know, okay, you guys, ah, fun. Do you know what putting, what putting liquid in eggs does? Do you know? No. Do you know? Are you talking to the audience or the <laughs> They're talking, not gonna answer. <laughs> talking to AJ and the audience. Do you guys know why you put liquid in eggs? No. No, I guess it seems smart. You put liquid in eggs because it helps break up the protein and that's what gives it its like very fluffy texture when you're done. Okay, so this is Gabrus's eggs. These are Gabrus's eggs. Which one's right? Where are my, all my English professors? These are Gabrus's eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna check our little bologna guys. Check our little bologna guys. <laughs> this is gonna be so buttery, I'm so happy. Thank you. Of course. You buttered the heck out that. I thing. would never not. Here's the thing about butter. I love it. I love That's butter. it. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Everyone really hates me. putting butter in stuff. It's yeah. so upsetting. Everyone's like, butter's not good for you. Please pass me that spray can of oil <laughs> that I Do you want Texas or cat? Cat, please. Great. Do you have a cat? I'm you a just dog. hate Texas? Yeah, I'm a dog guy from New York. New York dog guy. My dad is from New York and my mom is from Texas. Oh, my mom and dad went to the same high school in Long Island. Well, not at the same time. My dad was a little older than my mom. God, this is a lot of eggs. We might be able to split this for a little bit. No, because I don't want to use your dumb eggs. I want to use my awesome eggs. You no, know, you brought me on the show and I had no idea what it was going to be. I was like, oh, it's going to be a touching thing about now. It's like straight up. No, it's like, right. my dad's better than your dad. <laughs> my dad told me how to cook better. Dude, we're both just makeup Balling. running down our faces, guys. Our bologna is looking very pretty, super blistered, and that's kind of what we're looking for. And the reason these little lines separated is because that's the fat leaving the bologna, and that's what's causing it to not cap up, which oh, is yeah. super chill. And then this is the highlight too, when that fat gets released and it cooks it. It gets all caramelized. Yeah. This is a, this is uh, I talked about it before in the donut muffin video. But this is uh, the Maillard reaction that's happening before our eyes. So the fats and the sugars that are in this are caramelizing, and that's what gives us a bunch of good flavor, which is super chill. So let's put your eggs. Well, perfect. <laughs> I have a dog, so I used to just <laughs> one for the. It's okay. Leave it on the floor. <laughs> I have a dog. <laughs> um, okay, here's what we're doing. We're gonna put these here. And go. Oh hell yeah. Okay, and then what I'm gonna have you do, my friend, if you wouldn't mind taking. Uh oh. Well, 
me. <laughs> That's gonna be hard to get out of there. If you wouldn't mind taking the rest of this butter and spreading it on those pieces, if you would like, if that's what your dad did, because I realize I have already commandeered this recipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, it's a fitting tribute to my dad that in that we were gonna do something together and then you're absolutely <laughs> taking over and bossing me around. <laughs> I'm gonna take our bologna off because it's exactly where I want it to be. Does oh, that okay. look right? Well, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does this look right? Well, what am I supposed to say if you say this, if it's exactly where I want to be and then you go, does this look right? Yeah, of course. You can put cheese wherever you would like to put your cheese. Oh, okay, I want to get it on there now while the bread's still warm. Smart man. Oh! Whoa. Hey, Irene, how do you open this cheese? Are my hands too greasy? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with the butter over here. Here's the best okay. part about American cheese. Just look at it. I know. Slimy, shiny. Delicious. Uh, oh, do you, uh, another thing my dad used to do when he would be cooking us or making us breakfast sandwiches, it started as a joke and he would be like, do you want a piece of slap cheese? And you're like, what's slap cheese? And he brings over a piece of cheese and he slaps it on your face, but then you get to eat it. And, Fun. Then, and then it was a gag he would do to like whenever our friends were over. They'd be like, oh, do you think your friend Alex wants a piece of slap bologna? And he's like, what's slap bologna? And then he comes over and wax him with it. Wow, I love that. Very much. Can I take a piece of bologna while it's still hot? Yes, please do. I'm doing over medium eggs because I want that like runny kind of moment. Yeah, so this is interesting because you said, how do you like your eggs? And I said, <laughs> I like them over easy. I'm no, saying, you, but said, you're like, you said sunny side. Well, yeah, that's over easy, isn't no, it? Isn't. What's sunny side? Sunny side, you've never flipped them. Over easy is you flip them. Over medium is... You flip them for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. like... Okay, so I like sunny side, which is... Sure. But you're it's saying... Not dissimilar. I just want to say you... Of course you are. Everybody is. Thank you for buttering the bread. Oh, this is still on? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Cool. Okay. There's a lot of butter in this pan. Wait for my reflection. Cool. Okay. Yours is looking far better than mine is right now, but I just need a second. Just need a second. I'm imagining that there's a timer when there certainly isn't. Thank God there is. I would bomb this. Ha. Weird. That thing you just took out of that scalding hot <laughs> pan is not, huh? What, how did your daddy eat eggs? I feel like dads have a very specific on, on he would he would put ketchup on his sandwich, salt, SPK, salt, pepper, ketchup. Actually, he might not even have really done salt, but he did pepper and ketchup. The thing I like, oh, he spread it. You're a hero. <laughs> the, thing I, the thing I like about ketchup, you guys that? ketchup and uh, ketchup and melted cheese really does something special. Yes. When it's like on a sandwich, it, or like it works with burgers, it works with breakfast sandies. When they can kind of like the cheese and ketchup become like this weird tomato uh, goo. Velveeta goo. That's the best. I fucking. There's not much that I love more than Velveeta. Velveeta okay. is so good. It's so good. My mom makes queso all the time because she's Texan as hell. It's delicious. Okay. Hell yeah. We have. The cheese melted less than I thought. Well, you did it wrong. Yeah, you're right. I did. I, what I should have done was throw it in the pan for a hot second. So I what, I, what you're saying is I'm better at making this than you are, even though it's your dad's recipe. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we're, we're, let's, we're throwing recipe around in quotes. We just shouldn't Fair. just say yeah. I'm like kind of worried about cutting this. I'm like, oh. Do you want me to cut it? Yeah. Just eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your technique. No, but for real, the halfway and then the spin. That's some. I, I love learning little things like that. You're welcome. Ooh, did we get a yolk? Without to Get that Instagram double bend back. You know, when they every Instagram a photo of a sandwich is like open and yes. like squeezed a little. So Squish. like everything is like oh. Here we go, Daddy. Close together now. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Great. Love Amazing. It. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> so this is what it looks like. We got a good cross section. How's yours? Oh, uh, mine looks pretty good. Yours, yours is, is really gorgeous. Good. Yeah. Okay, eggs. Do you think <laughs> would your dad be proud? Yes, for once. <laughs> <laughs> finally, <laughs> I'm almost forty, and my dad's finally proud of me for okay. making a sandwich. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is a much better thing to eat first in the morning than a piece of whole bologna. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been more excited to eat anything than this bite. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Get that albumin. Okay, here's the thing. Wow. That's the thing. I'm disgusting. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> 
Well, while we're just saying stuff, <laughs> I'm also this good. This is so good. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. We should take a second to say, you can make 20 of these for about 10 bucks. Truly. <laughs> yeah. Eggs, bologna, cheese, low budge, white bread. This shit is not expensive. No. Oh, dude, this slaps. This slaps, <laughs> bro. <laughs> what's like a what's like a Long Island thing that means great? I guess you would say like this is dope. This is banging. This is very good. <laughs> this is honestly this delightful. Tastes, this tastes delicious. Wow. Mmm, fantastic. Mmm. Wanna switch your hands? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, hell yeah. I love nothing more than American cheese. Yours is... That's that's gorge. That's a good this cross This is beautiful. What are you talking about? Look at that shit, dude. Look at a couple of pros. We're killing it. You could serve this shit at like a Williamsburg uh, hipster breakfast cafe or whatever. I think so too. A place Cute. where you're like, they only spin vinyl or whatever. <laughs> mm. Here's the thing I love about this sandwich. Your temperature is better. <laughs> but I did my later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you did yours later, weirdly, in the show you program. <laughs> Interesting. This is very good. You're, you have a very good melt on your cheese. I will say, Kraft Singles. No, sir. Oh, yeah, well. American yeah. cheese slices by Moveless. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. I didn't realize they were Moveless. Take back what I said. <laughs> I'm trying to get that Moveless sponsorship. Uh, use promo code <laughs> Dead Dad. <laughs> the American Singles. Are, they melt a little weirder than like yeah. straight deli American. Mm -hmm. But if you get it right, which you did here, it gets to be like pimento cheese, like queso kind oh of my God, consistency. Thank you. She crushed it. Here's the thing about this sandwich that I love is even though it's not my dad's sandwich, it reminds me a lot of my dad because he always put ketchup on eggs, and that's like I feel like just a dad thing. It's a it's a generational thing. I met I met some people. Uh, uh, on that a was job. teamwork, and Thank I feel like neither of us talked about it. <laughs> Thank you. I have shit all over me. I met some people who put grape jelly on their bacon, egg, and cheese, and I was like, what are you talking about? That seems crazy. And they were like, well, you put ketchup. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, that's like tomato jelly. And I was like, oh my god. So I tried a bacon, egg, and cheese with grape jelly. That shit is fire. It's good? It's very good. That weird sweetness it goes so well. I think bologna would not offset the grape sweetness as much as sausage and bacon. Yeah. This is fantastic, dude. Thank you for sharing this recipe. Oh, please. Why horizontal and not diagonal? There's my fucking guy. <laughs> I never cut my sandwiches diagonally because my dad never cut it, so I thought that that was the only way to cut a sandwich. So when I saw these cool kids in school who had like diagonal cut sandwiches, I was like, are you trying to impress? <laughs> <laughs> and so now I never do it. That's really funny. <laughs> On Long Island, if you had an above ground pool, you were like beyond wealthy in my mind. And then I come to LA and you say, and you say, and I know and you're in LA and you're like, like we have a pool in our house. I'm like, oh, is it above ground? They're like, what? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like, you have a built in pool? They're like, all pools are built in out here. And I was like, Oh my god. Yeah, and it's just something like you're like, oh, the kids who cut their sandwiches triangle. They're they have the love of their parents. They're wealthy. This was such an awesome breakfast. This was so good. I'm Do so you want another one before you go? <laughs> I'll take two to go. <laughs> she's driving with my knee. Does <laughs> Tiffany want one? No, she's not home. That is the main thing I do uh, when I'm on my own, when I'm living my quote unquote bachelor lifestyle, is I eat a lot of food in the dark shirtless. <laughs> Me too, baby! I love wings. I love wings. I love I love meat, like portable meat snacks. So meatballs and wings. TM. <laughs> portable meat. Hey, it's me, John Gabris. Welcome to Portable Meat Snacks. Use promo code I use promo code Dead Dad to get yourself your first box of portable meat snacks for free. This is the first time I think I've finished a thing. This it will I never don't finish the food that's put in front of me to be if I'm being 100 percent honest. This is the first time I finished something on Dead Dad's kitchen. Whoa! So big ups to John. Not this one, but the older one. Big John. Big John. Up Poppy. in heaven, wherever the hell you might be, Big John. What if our dads knew each other? Cute. That would be so cute. I think they'd be friends. Okay, so here's the here's the part where we talk about all the shit John does and where you can find him. You can find his Instagram and his Twitter and all those things right here. Thank you. You can find uh, all of his podcasts right here, and you can download that, those everywhere you can download podcasts. That's well, one of them is behind a paywall, but cough it up, people. <laughs> is it on Patreon? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's your Patreon? Uh, it's actionboys with a Z dot biz. Okay, Patreon.com slash actionboys. Oh, I bought the dot biz because. <laughs>
I know a thing or two about SEO, baby. No, that's everything. Thank you so much for having me, Irene. This was a blast. Yeah. So Thanks for sharing your dad's recipe. This was so much easier than making breakfast by myself, coming in here and screaming into a camera for two hours. <laughs> and having me tell you how your dead father made you know, sandwiches. Yeah, you did kind of honor the spirit of my dead dad by inviting me here and then bossing me around <laughs> and being upset with me. Thank the whole time I was like, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. Why are you come to my football game one Saturday? <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this video. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks for breakfast, John. Oh, thank We'd like to thank the dead person who contributed the recipe for whatever meal they're giving thank it to you. Thank you, Big John. I thank appreciate it. Oh, not BJ. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Thanks, <Just> Big J. <laughs> Um, all right, bye forever. Bye forever. <laughs> bye, Dad, forever. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. This was amazing. This was a blast. I just gave you like the hover hands hug. Me, because... me too, because I'm <laughs> disgusting.